All right, so this is the target road that I want to come visit. I'm still in the car right now, but uh, okay, morning. Just getting started. Uh, got about a 2,000 foot climb, I think, over the course of four miles. So, a nice uh, long extended climb back out. See in the quest. Already having some issues. My trekking pole wouldn't lock and open, so uh, we'll see how I get that. Maybe I'll throw it in my pack. I don't know. We'll see. This is the view so far. It's going to be all Forest Service Road. The one I showed you earlier, it's closed for hunting only, but those are typically still well maintained. So. Check in later. Open, partly cloudy skies. Probably get rained on a little bit. I should get My it. slow ass is still climbing, but look at that view. It's going in the distance. Somewhere over there's Unicorn Gap. There's a lot of dead up here, but there's a lot of new regrowth too, so good sign. This area actually looks like, uh, or at least the lower road in, looks like it needs some work. I can hear the water down below. Not sure if I can hit those. So, this looks a lot like uh, on the other side, there are planted areas for wildlife to feed off of to uh, preserve the wildlife. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna get out of here just in case. Look at that, that's pretty. This uh, second two to three miles, nice uh, ridge line, pretty easy run. Looking at Gaia, I can go either direction. This is the one that's mapped, so I'm gonna go that way. So we've dipped off the ridge line. You can hear all the water. I'm, uh, I see at least one stream. It sounds like there's three or four. Maybe there's a small waterfall in the area. Over here. So I believe this is the connector trail. It's an old out of service forest road um, or path. I've connected over with a different forest service road. It's getting windy up here. I still have my raincoat so I can use it as a shot. Right, we're at the end of the main loop. We're back to the uh, Chattahoochee River Road, I believe. And uh, got to finish up going down in the Jasses Gap or down the Jasses Creek. I've already finished my first lap. I'm at the start of my second lap. I grabbed a little bit more food, a little bit of water, some salt, and I got about eight and a half miles. Uh, it's about 1,200 feet of climb, so I guess I'll look at 1,200 feet of climb. So this area is designed specifically for turkey hunters. 
which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. So like two, three tenths of a mile. Or a upper section of Jasses Creek. My car is at the bottom of Jasses Creek. Yeah. That'd be kind of tough. It's I just finished up the other half of my PB&J. Grape jelly, of course, country peanut butter. Going pretty good. Just walking. Now I'm on the ridge line. Gonna let the food digest a little bit. Uh, I'll go back to jogging here in a second. Get some water. So to manage my stomach and my pace, I'm jogging slowly downhill and uh, walking a little bit. That way my stomach doesn't get too upset. And slowly but surely I'm working my pace down or maybe a little over two miles to go. It's been a fantastic day. Uh, I'm going to So this is one of the campgrounds at Jasper's Creek, the lower section. Hey, we're getting some traffic now. I got somebody on the other side. I got uh, about 17.2 miles in and about 2,400 feet of elevation gain for the day. It's going to wrap it up for me.